How's it going, Fred? Let's have a malt liquor. Yeah. Now let's talk about community. Actually, let's uh, let's go somewhere quieter. Take our snacks. There we go. Let's try this out. might be better. Traditions. Popcorn. Oh. Gourmet popcorn. Another tradition is uh, <clears throat> giving someone in the drinking community a hard time. You might do it like this. See that one, Falstaff? Don't make me drink. I know duels at you. Pick up the pace, buddy. <laughs> Malt liquor. Mm. And Fred, you talked about community, and you said uh, about there being no kind of YouTube community. <clears throat> Community is odd, especially for me, um, and I tend to be uh, self-imposed uh, outside of most communities. I really didn't consider myself part of the drinking community uh, for the longest time, uh, but they, uh, they, the community, kept reaching out to me, and uh, you know, made me feel a part of things. Um, I'd visited, I got visited by a dwarf and. Uh, contact by people. Um, people sent me their phone numbers. It was cool. And uh, I had this experience with community at my work. And uh, I, don't, uh, I don't interact with a whole lot of people at my job. Um, I don't interact with a whole lot of people. Oddly enough, isn't that weird? In general. Um, but let me let me set the scene for you. Um, I show up to my job, I punch in, and I, I kind of walk through our premises from one side to the other. And it just so happened that uh, almost everybody I walked by said, "Hey, Earl, how's it going?" And that's kind of rare. No, we're pretty busy. But by the time I'd made it like three quarters of the way through the business. Um, I don't know, I felt something. Uh, I felt a part of things and connected to people. Uh, and connected to people especially that... Uh, I would say I almost go th make an effort not to be connected to people uh, at my work especially. Um, so these are the people that uh, go the extra uh, few yards. I don't know how far they have to go uh, to make a connection to me and then make me feel a part of, uh, of their community. Because it's really individuals. I don't think it is groups. Like you could put a number on it, 10 or 20 or 30. Um, and my 10 would be different than your 20. But, uh, and I, you know, I don't even know what the subgroup would be. I guess it's because in all the subgroups and all the different groups there are, like, I'm going to feel some sort of connection. Um, when some people say hi to me, I'm going to feel good about it. And I think, I think that's what makes a community. Um, not what we participate in necessarily, even though that helps. 
malt liquor. Uh, but in in how much we look forward to um, seeing or talking or hearing about uh, someone in our group or uh, yeah that feeling that you get if someone's not around or the feeling you, that you get when they are around <clears throat> I think I think of uh, community is more like I kind of like you, you know we were talking about uh, and Mel uh, Mel's basket case was talking about communities being like apartments or uh, or little villages uh, I feel communities are more like uh, solar systems that's weird I don't care I wonder if you can hear that um, but uh, Different people have different orbits. My orbit tends to be really, really wide. Um, there's people that I love that uh, hardly ever see me, and vice versa. And it doesn't, uh, it doesn't change how I feel about them or my excitement when I see them. Um, but I still feel a connection, you know, a, a form of gravity. And uh, for whatever reason, my planetary body needs less gravity uh, than most. Which sometimes puts me out of some communities that are tight. Like uh, I'm unlikely to be in a tight community um, because I need space and I need uh, uh, peace and tranquility and I need I need control of my own. Um, you know that daily destiny. Um, I really get a sense that, uh, from from my perspective, that. Uh, Life is really, really precious. My life. <laughs> um, I get a feeling I'm only going to get one shot at it. And so it's really important for me to uh, have as much say so, as much control as I can. And I find that I get more control the less I'm around other people. So I love people. I really do. But uh, I love life. Um, even more. Um, you know that whole thing of like, what would you bring if you were on a desert island? I'd be like, nothing. <laughs> Everything I need is on that island already. <laughs> and actually, it's kind of interesting when you find yourself a part of communities without you intending for that to be the case. Um, for instance, the homeless community. Um, when I was uh, in and out my tiny house all the time, um, a lot of the homeless saw what I was doing, and I put my I put my beer cans out for them to pick up in the morning, and uh, they felt a connection to me, and they talked to me. Um, and they wanted to know how I was doing, and um, you know they wanted to give me uh, they wanted to give me props for building the tiny house and moving into it. It's also a tradition to finish the beer on camera, but uh, I have trouble with that. I want to do a lot of talking and not a lot of drinking. So uh, I hope I hope you can hear me, and uh, I hope you're okay with talking to me in the bathroom. <laughs> and malt liquor. It's a, a pleasure to have you uh, as a part of the uh, drinking community. Now you need to be a part of the person, the, the community of people who refer to themselves in the third person. Earl would be happy to see you there. <laughs>